guys, it's that time of week again when we're gonna have a peek at another Atari ST game and this time we are throwing a glance at System 3's Tusca, published in 1990 I think, it says 1989 on Atari Mania but I'm pretty sure that's not quite correct. And this is a game I have never played before, I kind of remember seeing ads for it I think but yeah I don't think I ever saw any reviews or anything like that so uh, yeah don't know what to expect really it got some pretty good ratings on atari mania so uh that's helpful i guess so without any further ado let's uh dive in oh yeah we got some um fairly nice um sample music that's a pretty nice looking um well, title screen I suppose we should call it. I think it's just a digitized uh, picture of the uh, actual cover artwork though. But yeah, music is pretty decent so uh, let's carry on. Right, so here we have the credits but no actual title screen I guess. As in a screen with the actual title of the game but hey I know already so... Uh, Oh, it's just gonna start a demo, right? Well, never mind then, we're just gonna start... Oh! The game has actually started by itself, without me pressing any button. Alright! <laughs> Interesting! And immediately we have a tornado... That hopefully is not gonna... Oh, it's gonna... Yeah, it's chasing me. No, stop! <sighs> Alright. Come on, let go of me! I wanna grab my gun! What are you doing? Give me my gun! And don't run into a cacti. So we press space. Good times. And we have... Oh, we've got two guns. Interesting. But no ammo. Or do we have ammo? Kind of looks like I'm firing, right? Or am I? Maybe not. I thought I had to have the ammo in the other hand. Because you've got like two... Oh god. We've got like two um, inventory slots. One is for like a weapon and the other one is for an object like ammo, I think. So oh, these snakes are cute. Oh God, how many are there? They've got some, they're guarding something. <laughs> Could that be a treasure? Now, this is looking really nice. Leave me alone. Don't, no, please, it's sneaky snakes. Come on, no, no. Get over here. Get, come on, yeah, that's good. Come here! Ah, look at the sneaky bastards. Some of them remain to guard that thing. I can't lure them away. They are... These guys got some pow... Ooh, dear God, powerful AI. So, we're not supposed to go this way then. Just, no, don't... Oh my God, Indiana Jones would be terrified. Can we just go in here and quickly grab this in the midst of this snake pit? No, we can't. Let's just leave. <laughs> I think I got it. Or did I? I did get it. But what the hell is that? If you look up to the left, that looks like a really shitty looking laptop. <laughs> Maybe it's um, matches. It could be matches, I guess. But yeah, let's go this way. Oh, hi. Oh, geez, there's an Arab. They were mentioned the manual. They were supposed to get mad when I... Um picked up the gun. Right, what the hell was that? Big grabby hand, stop it! You filth monster! Give me whatever that is. No, apparently it's going to be one of those finicky games where I can't pick stuff up. Oh, there we go. That is... Oh dear god. Why... Why do you want me to go this way, game? I mean, really? There's just misery and death and... Yeah... Could you please let go of me? Please. That's not too much to ask. Oh, get, out, get away from me. Oh, God. Oh, stop biting me, you prick. What is this? Is that ammo? I have no idea. Maybe a little bit of a text uh, information would be great to, uh, you know, to know what you're actually picking up. So F9, I think, cycles through the various items I have. Could this be ammo or just a pair of legs for a robot, maybe? 
I really don't know. But let's carry on now. Is that even that thing gonna be harmful? I'm guessing it's good. Leave me alone, please. Come on, go down. Oh, of course. There's an Arab in here. Please, no. Yeah, it's got some really nice graphics. Can I shoot you? I doubt it. It looks like I'm actually hurting that guy when I'm shooting him. Problem is, he's got more hit points than I do, so... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna kick you now. Now, what is going on? Yeah, that's what's going on. I'm dead. Yeah, it's... Good-looking game, but a bit weird. And why was my head detached for a bit there? Come on. Okay, just run away then. I don't care. I really don't. Torch? Yeah, I'm guessing that's a torch, right? And this is more ammo? Yeah, let's just go inside. I think there's supposed to be a crocodile down here that we're supposed to stab. There were some... What? Some um, clues in the manual. Let's just enable the torch, maybe. Or then again, maybe not. Oh, hang on. Maybe I need to... Oh, I can't do anything. I need... Or maybe I can. But let's just go back outside and see if we can maybe use the matches somehow. How about that? Is that going to work? Yeah, this is a bit of a sneaky game, this. Ah, yes. And of course, there's horrible bats. Ah. <sighs> Please, just leave me be for a couple of seconds. No, please. Bats, why? Cool, yeah, look at this. This looks so nice. Really, really nice. But I keep getting stuck on tiny rocks, which is a little bit surprising given that I'm a superhero Indiana Jones bloke. So I'm guessing the key is needed, right? Let's go this way. Or well, then again, maybe not. How about this way? Nope. Let's gonna head back. Um, please stop biting me. You suck, all of you. You really do. Please. Ah, oh, good grief. Can I drown? I'm gonna say yes, but we're just gonna have to try this, right? No, we can't, or maybe we can drown, I shouldn't say too much. Ah, look at the bats, don't go that way, that's probably death, right? No? Would you stop biting me, and why am I getting stuck? Ah, uh, this is not gonna end well, I think. Leave me a bee, leave me be. And the bats, they just love me, don't they? Never tasted such a, an amazing piece of meat. And weirdly enough, I'm not Losing a life there, I'm not sure why. Move. Move! Move! And this is somewhat weird. Before they just ate through my... Ah. Uh, my uh, health here. And now they don't do anything and I can't move! What the hell is going on? Could you... Ah, uh, please, move! Either kill me or, or just let me go. Can I punch these fellas? No, doesn't seem to work. It's weird how I can't control the game all of a sudden. And then I weirdly die as I step out of the water. That is uh, a little bit peculiar. And of course the game crashed. Oh joy. <laughs> right, so I'm just gonna run this way. And I've actually enabled... Oh, how am I supposed to dodge this? I mean, just, you know, just a simple question. I don't know, it's going to be there. Yeah, I've been enabling the... Um, uh, unlimited lives because I have a cheat version, right? So, um, so what's this? Oh, yeah, it's that. Maybe it's a sun lotion or maybe the bat repellent. And how the ball socks am I supposed to know that? I hate that kind of traps, I really do. Stop biting my crotch, you filthy worm, you perv. And please pick stuff up and... Uh. 
Yeah, I mean, this game looks really nice and plays kinda okayish, but it's definitely annoying in many ways. Oh, hi. I'm sorry, did I scare you out of your tent? And somehow I am now stuck inside of the tent. It's a much bigger tent than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> okay, I'm just leaving. Said something in the manual about these guys not being angry until I pick up the gun, which I haven't done. But they still seem very upset with me, so... Um... Oh, look. Lipstick. Two of them. Just what I need. Oh, sweet Jesus. There's quite a few of these... Arabs. That's not entirely politically correct, is it? But that's what the manual calls them, so... What you're gonna do is... Stop it. Stop it! Probably worms! I mean... Snakes. <laughs> Let's go grab all the junk and go back into the... I know! Alright! Go back into the cave system. Please, I'm gonna karate chop you to death. Even though you have an unfair advantage. Jesus. Come on. How am I supposed to fight this guy? I mean... I'm clearly punching him in the face a bit and I think I do make damage. But he's clearly better equipped. <laughs> no, leave me be. Ah, uh, is this gold? Probably not. Oh, oh, that's that's gruesome. <laughs> and my head magically reattaches itself. So let me just um do this, I think. That's probably bullets, right? Can I? Okay, come on. Come on, come on, fire. Okay, then don't fire. Or maybe I need to swap the place of these, come to think of it. Let me just get somewhere safe. Right, that might do the trick. Maybe. Let's see if we can experiment on this guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me your blade, sir. Oh yeah, we can apparently also stab the cacti here to get water from them, which is a pretty cool little idea. So we can replenish our water supply, which will lose me a life if I run out. So that's a neat little detail. Let me just select my ammo. Hi. Maybe people just care to... Okay, that's weird. I am shooting at you, you do realize that. I mean, why is this guy almost impervious to... bullets? This is strange. He, am I not on the same level? Okay, never mind. I'm sorry for assuming that all of these guys were created equally. And we have to fix the... Here we are. Let's go in here. No, please go away. Oh, how, what am I going to do with the bats? Do I have anything? Bat repellent, maybe? Let me get in here and have some peace and quiet. Oh, hang on. If I change any of these, right, it's just going to go dark. Uh, all right. That's um, not good. Let's see if I can get over here by just tanking all this damage. And also I have to find out if I drown here. I don't drown, but the bat seems to be kind of confused. Well, no, they're not. They know what to do with me. Bite me as usual. I can't seem to get up here, so never mind. I'm sorry for trying that. We're back at this weird place where I can't quite get out of the water because the bat somehow interfere with my controls but not so much this time so that's good <laughs> all right bats i've got a surprise for you i'm not quite dead yet oh yeah we've got boulders we can we can actually use that to throw and hopefully murder maybe bats look at the amount of damage these guys make wow 
got some writings on the wall here. Weirdly enough, I can actually stand underneath it, which is uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> I'm a pretty skinny guy. Also, those boulders are somehow magically appearing in front of me. <laughs> yeah, we can't move on. Nope. Can we go up here? Nope. Let's just try our boulders, shall we? Oh, hang on. Inventory system is a bit clunky, but fair enough. Let's see if we can... Yeah, here we go. Now it should work, right? No, nope. still not working. Ah. Pretty sure it said you should equip the rocks and then you should just hold fire, but... Nope. Can we use the knife then? No, I can't. I need to hold the torch in my weapon hand. That's, um... Thanks, game. That's really nice of you. <laughs> and I wonder about the flasks of anti-bat lotion. I'm guessing maybe that's... That's probably water, right? I think it is. Also weird how I have all of a sudden two torches, but okay. All right. Yeah, it seems clear that I can't use my... Um, my weapon here because I need to have the torch in that particular hand because the game is really picky. Ah, oh, the bats disappear, please. Just leave me be for a little bit. See if I can go this way? No. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. Let's just head back into the desert. Interesting to note that I can't die in the water here because uh, maybe because I wouldn't be able to see my sprite. So as long as I stay in the water, I'm not dead, even though, you know, I'm technically dead. Please, stop it. Stop it. Move. 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 <laughs> I can't move. It's absolutely bizarre. I know I'm dead, but, you know, I'm Zombie Jones. Come on, move. You useless game. Oh, my God. I can't move. I really can't. He's just standing there, staring at the bats. Could... Please, please, please. This game's got some potential, but man, it's buggy and glitchy as all hell. Well, I mean, could be worse, I guess, but I cannot move out of this spot. It just won't let me. Okay, let's just turn out the light, okay? See if that maybe works. Oh, it does, doesn't it? And now the torch is in the other hand. That is strange. Why couldn't I do that before? This game is just so clunky. Please, leave me be. That's all I want from you guys. You suck so much. Yeah, okay, let just let me die. Please, let me get at it. Move, move. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Get out of there, Jones. Okay. So this guy is obviously somewhat confused. Not sure what he's up to. This guy is still dead. Can I maybe pick him up? And sacrifice him maybe or something? Nope. Move. Why am I getting stuck on the only palm tree in the entire world right now? <laughs> oh, the grabby fellow is back. Oh, thanks a bunch. He's kind of moving about. There's no way to know. Yeah, this is quite clunky. I mean, yeah, it looks great and it could have been quite decent, but it just feels so damn clunky. <laughs> and what is going on? Oh, yeah, there's... Oh, my God, they can all wake up. This is going to kill the frame rate for sure. And me, presumably. There's like six or seven of them. And now I'm back here. Ugh. Can I shoot you? Nope. Still doesn't work. What am I doing wrong here? I got it to work before. But I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna karate chop you to death. Oh, kick. And the combat is really, really painful. I mean, it's so clunky. And he got me again. He did a barbarian on my face. 
I'm just gently touching his forehead with my fist. Doesn't seem to do anything to him anymore. This is weird. Enemies are so overpowered. Also, they interrupt me even without hitting me, so yeah, this is so clunky. And look at the amount of damage he's doing to me. I mean, fair enough, he's got a sword, so I guess that's all right. But please, just turn into a pile of bones, sir. Here we go. Thank God. Oh, gee, I... Oh, never mind, I'm just... I'm just going to get out of here. You know what, guys? I'm going to say... We're going to quit here and have a look at a review because although this is kind of promising, it is clunky as balls. So, uh, yeah, let's read a review. I could only find one review and that was in SD Format and uh, they gave the game an overall rating of 51% and they wrote Tusker fails in the difficulty waiting and sprite collision detection departments. Some of the obstacles, such as the Arab hit squad, are almost impossible to overcome. If the programmers spent a little longer making the game playable, then the desire to see what happens next would overcome the desire to hit the reset button on the back of your ST. And yes, the reset button is a very tempting option, especially when the game just freezes up or behaves completely bonkers. Now, to be fair, that could have something to do with the emulation, I'm not sure. But it has some potential, looks nice, but plays, you know, like a, like a brick tied to a boat anchor. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick peek at Tusker and thanks for watching and all that stuff. And as always, hope to catch you next time. Cheers!